Magenta. And this is turquoise. I get hooked on colours and mm. I just stay with it for a really long time. But again, you could go with any three colours you like. You might be thinking, I love purple, so I'm going to do a purple and a blue. And I might um, do a bit of complementary and throw in some yellow. Pick up this um, turquoise. I grabbed some turquoise in. There's already some in there, so... I want it to drop to the bottom, not go on the side. A bit of water in there, so I'm just going to add a little more water. This is what you'll do, add water. And then take a moment to really get rid of that lump. So I know it's floating in there. You'll be able to see yours at first. I really want the lump gone because I don't want to pour it on here and have to um, stop and ruin the effect of the watercolour pour. Same with magenta. So. This is, I'm using quinacridone magenta. And same thing, you put some in. And that one's loaded with magenta. So I can use that to mix the so same thing, making sure the lump has completely dissolved into the water. And then I've got two beautiful puddles ready to go. Magenta and turquoise. They make the most divine purpley grey together. So my stick comes up like that and goes down and I'm about to do a pour. If you like the idea of um, a sky look, you could pour in a blue and maybe put green down there and that kind of looks like the sky and the earth. But I've got one coming like this and I like the idea of adding a bit of drama by doing a pour if I do it this way, it's going to follow this and fall off the end there. If I do it this way, I'm going to get a, a beautiful interrupter. So mm. this way, if I come, I'm going to spray it and then I'm going to pour it on in this direction and then it's going to travel. The masking fluid is going to force it to travel in certain directions. So that's so a lot of water again and I'm saturating the page and the paint's going to follow the water. Water, but turquoise is more important to me, so I'm going to start with turquoise. Oh, wow. I know. And then encourage it down. And then <coughs> pick up your next colour. You could pour into it or next to it. It's green. So the green came down and mm. it stopped there. So mm. you got it under there. Yeah, yeah, and I really like this is my one of my most important bombing knockers. So let's give that more importance. And I <coughs> use a brush to. Um, I'm going to pick this up and just put a little bit of colour over there. I, and the masking fluid is covered on that side, but not on that side. I'm just going to. I want the masking fluid to be completely encased mm. and see how it's missed a little bit under there around the bomby knocker so I'm going to bring it right in same with the bud it just, just wasn't covering the bottom <coughs> what about that section there is that good enough definition mm -hmm. thank you the line is a bit dark so I'll give that a spray but I like this bit here. Mm. I like this. That might look mm. like something is off in the background. I'm going to leave that for now because we're going to do another pour. And um, I've covered all the masking fluid. Mm. And then I just used a dry brush to encourage it to move around. Mm. Two puddles, two jars, two mm. puddles. <coughs> That's all you're doing. It's just in this time you're doing a jar and you're not using the brush until the end and only to adjust things. And then you pour one colour, then the other colour. And we've got just enough time to do it.